Jesus, man. After a very, very long weekend of grinding out innings, I got Rod Carew on the team finally, man. Jesus, that was a long-ass weekend of grinding out innings. Hopefully, that will be the last time I have to grind out anything over a 1,000 innings because I don't know how many players I have grinded out 1,500 innings, maybe even 1,750 innings with players, but Rod Carew is fine. Look at these stats, man. The contact, the vision, the fielding stats are pretty good, I guess. And the speed, 84, not too bad as well. But yes, hopefully this will be the last player I have to grind out a shitload of innings with. I mean, player, I mean, people have been saying uh, some players that I should get. And I think Yogi Bear was one. And then, who was the other guy? Matt Holiday, I'm pretty sure. Maybe, I don't know. But either way, those guys only, Yogi Bear, I think you only have to grind out a thousand innings with Yankees players, and then Holiday, you only got to grind out 800. But somehow, I already have a hundred and like 50 innings played with Rockies players. I don't even know how, but I only need to grind out another 650 with Rockies players to get that Holiday. But I don't know, man. Carl Crawford is literally the best player on the damn team, so why would I even take him off the team and put in Holiday at left field? So. Yeah, I don't know. I'm probably not going to end up getting Holiday because Carl, Craw unless Carl Crawford just never gets a hit again. I mean, the guy is hitting about. Uh, I don't think he's hitting. He's not. You know, he's not hitting 500 anymore. That was just for the first couple weeks I had him. He was hitting about uh, uh, 500 because he was literally getting at least two or three hits a game, as most people have seen from watching these videos. This guy was just going out there on a tear and just embarrassing pitchers. And yeah, but I think now he's only hitting about 400, but still, that's pretty damn good. And if anyone's wondering what division I'm in, right now I'm in the division series. And some people might be like, well, that's, that's weak-ass shit, man. Well, that's because, like I said before, man, I am grinding out innings with players. And when I grind out innings with players, I don't play head-to-head. -head. I usually play conquest mode. Man, Barry Larkin is a man possessed in the head. Speaking about guys on a tear, since I've gotten Barry Larkin, this guy's like his fifth home run since he's been on the team. The guy is going ballistic on the field, and he hits another home run to take the lead for the team in this game. But yeah, like I was saying before, I'm in the division series at the moment, and yeah, some people might be like, well, you should be high, you should be in the championship series, world series at least. But yeah, um, when I usually grind out innings with players, I don't play head-to-head -head because when you play Conquest, you're the, the, you're the away team every single game so I don't know if anyone's noticed this but if you're the home team and head-to-head -head and you try to grind out innings let's say because what I do is I usually stack the team to the core with nine players including the pitcher with the team players I'm trying to get and if you're the home team so every game if you have nine players including the pitcher playing you should get 81 innings with that team and if you're the home team and you end up winning that game there's no bottom of the ninth then you only get 72 innings played, I'm pretty sure. So when you're playing Conquest, even and if you go to extra innings in head-to-head, -head, which happens a lot, those innings don't count, I don't think, that I've noticed. I don't even think they count. So that is bullshit. And when I'm playing Conquest, it's only three inning games, and then some games go to like six or seven innings, depending on what difficulty you're playing on. But those innings count. And you're always the away team, so you don't have to worry about the... Uh, well, if you're, lo if, you're, if you're losing the game... But for the most part, you just play on an easy difficulty anyway. Like, when I'm when I'm grinding out innings with uh, shitty players, I usually play on veteran or rookie, to be honest, because all I'm trying to do is just grind out innings with certain players. And, man, honest to God, I'm not even going to say, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Veteran and shit, sometimes it's unpredictable. Like, literally, sometimes, it depends on what team you're playing, of course. But I remember, I was playing, like, the Nationals or something on veteran, and they put... They put together like six or seven hits in a row against me, and I'm just sitting there laughing my ass off. I mean, I don't have the best players, obviously, when you just grind out innings with certain teams. Like, I just played shitload of innings with the Twins, and that team isn't very good, and I was playing on veteran, and sometimes other teams were going out there and smashing my pitchers and stuff. But yeah, man, I don't really play... I don't play head-to-head -head at all when I'm grinding out innings, so that's why I'm in the division series. But now that I'm done grinding out innings, hopefully with players, I'm going to be playing head-to-head -head only so I can make, may, make my way up in the rankings. And I should probably get into this damn game, haven't I? Because I've just been rambling on about bullshit the whole time. So what is it? one nothing after that Barry Larkin moonshot in the second inning, I believe. Now it is the top of the fifth. 
Carlton Fisk, do you see, man? Like, I don't know. Yogi Bear has been suggested to me many times, but Carlton Fisk has also been one of those guys on a tear ever since I've gotten him. And I don't know what the fuck I was doing right there. Literally, I have no idea what I was doing right there. But Fisk gets caught stranded on first base. And then, what do you know, two pitches later, Cindergaard is sending one down the right field line. I'm thinking two all the way. No idea why I did that. Cindergaard with the shitty speed, of course, gets thrown out at second base. And then Carew, after Ichiro walked, is just sending a weak paw fly to center field. So that ends the inning. So it's now the bottom of the fifth. I got Cindergaard on the mound again. It seems like every single time I'm playing, Cindergaard is on the mound. And Barry Larkin, man. He just isn't an absolute beast at the plate. In the field, he is too. Look at that throw across the diamond. Gets the guy easily. And then this guy's getting on the board with a base hit. And this guy's already gotten it. So yeah, it's 2-1 after that. I forget who hit, who hit his home run earlier in this game. But it's still 2-1. And he's only got a couple hits on me, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he's only got two hits. I got six. And one of them was a moonshot for this guy. So he's still very much in this game. Beltre sending one deep himself to center field, but that is just an easy pop out to the center fielder nonetheless. And then Fielder coming to the dish and just hitting a weak ground out to first base. So I'm not making any noise in this half of the inning as Gwyn just grounds out to second base to hand that inning. So no noise was being made. Cindergaard with Reyes at the plate. And I should have known that was coming. That bastard lays down a bunt. I didn't have the defense in the correct position. He should have had... The corners playing in at least, probably everybody playing in. But then Cindergaard settles down and gets the remaining Ks to end the bottom of the sixth. So now it is the top of the seventh. I got the beast himself flashback, Carl Crawford, leading it off. And this is what I am talking about. The guy can do it all, man. Literally, that is the one guy on the team who can do it all. He can get bun singles. He can hit moon shots. He can run anything out. The only thing I have to complain about with flashback Carl Crawford is the arm strength. But that really hasn't come into play that much for me since I've gotten him. And then Cindergaard. Who is this guy coming to the plate? Hitting base hits left, right, and center. Getting the RBI in the process. And then Ichiro with the speed able to run that out so he doesn't get the double play. Rod Carew is up next after Ichiro. And again... Man, I, I, I feel bad for the people watching my videos sometimes because I make the dumbest mistakes. Like, I literally look like an idiot. I look like the biggest idiot half the time from the mistakes I make on the bases as I have no idea what I was doing right there. And I get, I get out trying to get back to third base. And this guy's hitting another moonshot. Another moonshot. Seems like every time I give up a home run, it is out of the stadium. But then Syndergaard settles down again, gets the remaining guys in that inning to end the seventh. Top of the eighth, Crew is leading it off after that terrible base running mishap last inning. Just foul it one off right there. I was, uh, I was biting my teeth after that because I was right down the center of the plate and I wasn't able to do anything with it. But next pitch, I'm driving one up the gut again with Rod Carew getting on the board again for a second base hit of the game. I think he's two for four in the game. So that's not bad for Carew if that was to be his remaining uh, at bat of the game. So still a pretty tight ball game up until this point. Gwyn can't. Get that very important insurance run in from second. That was needed, but Gwyn can't get the job done. Cindergaard taking the mound again, the bottom of the eighth. I'm pretty sure I had Craig Kimbrell warming up in the pen at this point as I was going to bring him in in the ninth. 100%. Getting the second out of the inning via the K. And then Jose Reyes coming to the plate next. I think that was just hitting a little blooper into left center. Probably should have dove for that since Crawford was backing that up. And then the third out of the inning is coming via the pop out to left center. So I get out of that inning with no troubles. And I'm looking to get some more insurance on the board since I was unable to do so in the last top, top in the last inning, top of the eighth. I wasn't able to do anything. Somebody stop this man. Somebody stop this man, that is a bad man right there. Barry Larkin, once again, once again, Barry Larkin is doing more damage at the plate. And then Delano DeShields come in and grinds in. I mean, he comes in and grounds into the inning and a double play. But Barry Larkin, man, I don't even know anymore. Who is the favorite player, you ask? 
it is either between Flashback Crawford and Barry Larkin now because ever since this guy has played on the squad, he has just been embarrassing pitchers. Second out of the inning is a pop out to Ichiro in center field and then Kimbrell throwing that heat up in the strike zone. He's down to his last strike, last out of the inning, swinging and missing at the knuckle curve and then Fisk throws him out to first base. So that is game, set, and match, folks. Barry Larkin is hogging up the player of the game category since he's been on the team. That is no joke. The guy is insane. Rod Carew had a pretty good debut, two for four. I don't know. He hasn't played that many games yet, but man, Barry Larkin is insane. Once again, more Diamond Dynasty coming very soon.